close your eyes and pay careful attention to the breath. As John Swat always used to say, don't just go through the motions. You're here to gain discernment, you're here to gain understanding. And even though you can learn from what you've heard and learn from thinking things through, the real discernment here comes from watching very carefully. And it's, you'll be watching things that have been going on here all the time, which means that you haven't been looking carefully enough or you haven't been looking in the right spots. As Buddha said, you want to focus on what you're doing. This is what alertness is all about. And then intentness, the quality of citta in the basis for success, means you give it your full attention. So you notice even the slightest things that are moving around in the mind, and the slightest things in the breath. It's good to practice with the breath first, because the breath is more obvious than the mind. And then you experiment. This quality goes together what's called vimangsa, which is analysis. And it's not just analysis, it's, it's using your intelligence, which means using your ingenuity as well. If one way of breathing doesn't feel good, think of the opposite way. If you feel that pulling the breath in from the front of your face gets tiresome, well, think of it coming in from the back, coming down from the top. In other words, try, try to change things around and then judge the results of what you're getting. The same way as learning how to cook. You follow the recipe and things are not quite right, and then you figure you've, you've got to learn how to develop your own sensitivity as to what's too salty, what's too sweet, what's too long when you put it in the oven. And so you take the recipe and you tweak it a bit, and then you find that you get what you want. In the same way with the meditation. The Buddha gives the analogy of a cook. The cook doesn't notice what the master likes, and so the cook doesn't get a reward. But if the cook notice what the, notices what the master wants, then he, even without the master having to tell him, he provides it. That keeps the master happy. Your mind needs to be kind of happy as you meditate, so you've got to keep adjusting things here and there to make sure it's just right. And just right from one day will not be just right for the next day, so you have to be on your toes. But this is how you develop discernment, is by being observant all the time. Otherwise, the, the things that are interesting and that happen in the mind fall in the cracks. Those little moments of blacking out when you move from one thought to another. Or when you're just looking over things and not paying careful attention. So pay careful attention, because you'll see things that have always been there, but will make a difference when you see them. Or will continue just going on their old ways if you don't. The difference lies in the amount of intentness that you apply to being alert right now.